today we've got new figures, Pokemon cards are getting banned in stores, Sylveon is finally coming to Pokemon Go, but first, can you tell me, what is a Pokemon's favorite place to go in France? Paris. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. It is your weekly news recap for all things Pokemon, but if this is the first time you're joining me, I am Pokemaniac Steven, and here, I love Pokemon. So hopefully you do too, because we do Pokemon unboxings, we do card openings, and just like today, we do Pokemon news recaps. So if you love Pokemon, make sure hit that subscribe button, and you know, while you're at it, hit the like button for me. So as always, lots to cover with Pokemon, so jumping into it, collectibles. Pokemon Center released the latest in the Pikachu Moods line. This time, sad. Inventory went kind of quick as usual, they always seem to sell out within like an hour or two. But if you are super into Pikachu crying, hopefully you were able to scoop one up before they were all gone. The figure features Pikachu sitting there crying. Uh, he spilled the scoop of ice cream off of his ice cream cone, so it's actually, this figure is actually really sad, but gotta catch them all. Speaking of figurines, Pokemon Center also accidentally listed four new figures. These ones featuring all four of the Cantonian starters, so including Pikachu on this one. They went up only just for a little bit, then they uh, kind of got taken down, I think probably within like half an hour, but they actually look pretty good. So we had a uh, Pikachu, there was a Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, all around the theme of Relaxing River. They're $14.99 US, so not too bad. Uh, once these get posted up for reels though, I'm, I'm really gonna try to get all four. I think, uh, I think I want these. We also got the next section of the Pokemon Celebration Parade. This time titled, Melody of Celebration. So we've got Grookey in the back with the rhythm section. Uh, in the middle, we've got Froakie. And in the front, we've got Charmander, Key. And on the back side of this, I love seeing uh, Charmander's tail all straightened out. Reminds me of like old cartoons, like Looney Tunes or whatever. And uh, when they're like playing the trumpet and they blow really hard and like their whole body like straightens out. That's what that reminds me of. Let me know if you know. Additionally, we got the Kalos version of the our little like Pikachu couple that they keep releasing. So this time we've got the costumes for Callum and Serena. Pre-order started, they are still open. If you want those, go scoop them up. I'm already committed, I gotta buy them all now, so I've already bought the first couple. I can't just have two or three of the regions, I gotta have all of them. But these will be shipping come August. Additionally, we got Lugia. We got 13 inches of this big boy here, ready to give us a big hug with those hands. Still in stock at time of filming, so make sure to jump on that. I know we've got a lot of Lugia fans out there. But again, if it does sell out, make sure to just keep a tab open or something, refresh it like a couple times a week, something like that. They do restock on the plushies just completely randomly. So if you're hunting one, just stay vigilant. Do you like the Nanoblock sets? Releasing in Japan this July, we've got a whole line of dragons. Featuring the likes of Dragonite, Dragonair, Gudra, Bagon, Drampa the Grandpa, and Garchomp. So pretty cool, especially if you're into that like 8-bit style of Pokemon, and also like if you're into Legos, these things are pretty cool. So again, Japan, this July. Some Funko news. We just got released the new like Bulbasaur, Silver Bulbasaur set, uh, comes along with uh, three other Pokemon. But my collectors of the 10-inch figures, we've got the Bulbasaur 10-inch figure coming out. Now this is going to be a US exclusive. According to official Pokepop on Instagram, this is going to be a Target exclusive in the US. So keep an eye out. Not exactly sure the release date, but uh, you know, as always, I'll try to keep you guys updated as I can. Bulbasaur should actually be arriving for me today, but uh, there's the Pikachu one. I do wish that the silver was a little bit more metallic rather than this like flat matte kind of uh, silver, but still pretty cool. Merch news. So Katy Perry put out her song Electric this last Friday. Let me know your thoughts of it down in the comments. I think it's all right, it's an all right song. The video is basically depicting young Katy Perry with her Pichu and adult Katy Perry with her Pikachu is like helping her stay motivated and like go to this talent show. I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know. It's like a weird back to the future. The video overall I think was all right. It felt like they just had Pokemon there as a second afterthought to the video that they filmed. But let me know, thoughts down in the comments. That wasn't merch news, but what is merch news is Right when that video launched, they launched a website, p25musicstore.com, and you can find a handful of memorabilia there, all Katy Perry themed with uh, Pikachu on it, basically. So we've got some shirts, we've got hoodies, there's bags. Uh, also, you can buy a CD single. I'm pretty sure it's a CD. Kind of weird that it's a whole CD with just one track, but whatever. All of it will be shooping. Shooping. All of it will be shipping on or around June 25th. If you are familiar with Pokemon's baby line of products, the brand is called Mon Poki. It's kind of exclusive to Japan for now. They came out with some tableware, so your little one can have some new plates, 
bowls, a mug, all of them featuring Pikachu, so you can add a little bit of extra Pokemon to their childhood. Original Stitch has some new polos you can customize, featuring the ability to customize your buttons, uh, as well as uh, there's a handful of colors you can choose from, and then there's the original 151 Pokemon plus a handful of others that you can get embroidered just uh, like up on the chest on this on this side. Only issue, these things start at $85 US. As you customize them, the price can get up a little bit high, so might be kind of a special purchase. However, you know I like having like a subtle way to just imply that you're a Pokemon fan. So these polos are pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to spring $85 for it though. Uh, I just feel like I could get a lot more memorabilia. But if you buy one of these, let me know. How do you like it? How's the material? Like I actually am curious like how these polos feel. Maybe I'll have to buy one for the channel. I don't know. Zobby recently came out with a clothing line and we're getting another one. This one coming out this summer, we got a teaser image here showing off, a, I feel like it's kind of got like a tropical vibe, but definitely some summer theme there. We've got Squirtle and those like palm leaf things. I think that's what they are. I'm not a, a, I'm not a plant specialist. Once it is released though, you know I'm gonna be covering it, so make sure you are subscribed. In what I think is probably the biggest piece of Pokemon news, over the past week, there was an altercation over in Wisconsin outside of a Target. Police say that a 35 year old man was physically assaulted by four individuals. The victim then, out of self-defense, pulled out a gun. He was carrying legally, thankfully, uh, but the other four suspects took off during that. Those four individuals were also later arrested on target property, it sounds like. No shots were fired, nobody was really hurt too bad, there were some minor injuries on the victim, but thankfully everybody was okay. But this is nuts, guys. This is, it's obviously gotten out of hand, with people selling for profit, people just trying to get some cards for themselves, maybe for their kids, like it, it's getting real aggressive out there. Now, Pokemon Company is still trying to recover a lot of their production and trying to catch up on a lot of their production over the last year. From what I've heard from distributors, we'll probably see some relief here pretty soon, uh, maybe in the fall. But in the meantime, like, try to be a little bit patient out there. I am trying to make some videos so you guys can see where you can get cards online rather than having to go to stores. I realize online also has its downfalls with bots and all of that stuff, but if it means you get to stay safe, like I think it's probably worth it. Right now I just have the big box stores, but I will be posting some more videos around smaller, more uh, online focused shops. But because of this whole event, got a little sidetracked there, this whole event has made Target pull their physical products from the store. As of May 14th, they no longer sell them in store. They put up flyers on the shelves so you can, so people know like they won't be selling sports cards, like Pokemon, Magic, all, like there's a whole list there. All of it is gonna be moving online. So they will still carry cards for, from what I can tell, we'll see. But I guess, hey, no more camping out at Target. From what I'm seeing as well, the Walmart letter was a fake. I don't know if that's true or not, but people are still buying them in store. So I don't know, we'll see. Video games. Sword and Shield got an update recently. In the release notes, really just kind of said like stability, bug fixes, that like typical stuff. But over on Serebii.net, they did a little bit more digging and they found out that the move Trick was no longer effective on Groudon and Kyogre, which honestly could be problematic. So luckily they found this glitch. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long it took them to find this or when it was implemented, but that is fixed now. Pokemon Go has a really good event coming up. Starting tomorrow, May 18th, we will finally get some dark types spawning and in raids, we're getting a Vatal. Additionally, Pancham is going to 12k eggs, Galarian Zigzagoon is going shiny, and my favorite part, when you earn many hearts with your Eevee, you're gonna be able to get your Sylveon. Not exactly sure what many hearts means, but I got my shiny Eevee almost at best friends, I've got my 100% Eevee at best friends, like, I'm ready for this thing. Also, if you name your Eevee Kira, supposed to force it to turn into a Sylveon. So I'm ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like the flower crown, the shiny regular, like I'm ready. Sylveon, here we go. We'll also be getting some Sylveon themed avatar items. And I don't know if they're gonna be free or not yet, but this might be the one that I actually spend some coins on. We'll see how they look though. I don't know, sometimes they come off a little cheesy, so we'll see. A couple weeks ago, I mentioned Pokemon Quest is gonna be coming out in China. It's gonna be this whole robust version where there's like PVP customizing. The, it's a pretty legit version. And because it's such a big version, China went really big. So 700,000 LEDs were used in a huge publicity stunt all over these buildings, they, like, they just went ham on this one. But also, I'm super jealous. I have, One day I hope we can do something like this that I can actually go attend in America. Like that would just be awesome to see the whole city. Like, wow. I do hope that we get this game though in America. Like those updates sound pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a fan of Pokemon Quest. I thought that was a pretty fun game, but let me know if you like that game down in the comments. Pokemon Masters recently introduced Nessa and B into the game. Now these two are subject to a lot of waifu material, so I thought I'd bring this up. I was trying to save my gems for Steven because he's coming back to the game here really soon actually, but uh, I don't have self-control and I dropped 9,000 gems 
on these and uh, I didn't get anything. Literally, like, they were all three stars. It was the worst luck ever. And later on this month, it sounds like we are getting some free sync pairs, which sound like they're gonna be like kind of top tier. So here we're gonna be getting the main character. So you, whatever your name is, and Regirock. We'll be getting Morty and Miss Magus and we'll be getting Zinnia and Salamence. I'm interested to see how the repeat Pokemon, so like Salamence and uh, Miss Magius, interested to see how they change with the new trainers. The Poketune series is an official thing now. We had the first release a while back featuring Mimikyu and Scraggy. It was like a really old cartoon style, kind of like Cuphead. But it looks like they've got five more episodes in the works. So each one of these is gonna feature a different Pokemon and a different art style. Kind of reminds me of like Matrix uh, Reloaded. Is that what that series was called? Where they did in like different styles, like anime and like, but I think this is cool. I love seeing just like this creative expression all around Pokemon. So I'm excited for it. Let me know if you are down in the comments. Are you possessed by the cuteness and charm of Piplup? Because Project Piplup got a trailer. This whole trailer, kind of weird. I've got some screenshots here. It, like It's a person in a mascot costume, but they have them in the back, like in the dressing room. They're like brushing it with a brush. Like it's super weird. They're like getting them ready for the show. And it's like walking out on stage, checking itself out in the mirror. It's actually kind of cute. It's about a minute long, but just super funny. It's like just the advertising that they do sometimes. And I have no idea what these Eevee snacks are, but here's a photo of them. On Twitter, Pokey Jungle posted this. I just thought it was funny. So here's the snacks versus the giant cushion. And that covers it, your news recap for May 17th. Again, let me know your favorite news stories down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. There's always a lot going on, a lot of weird stuff, a lot of cool stuff, and unfortunately, sometimes some bad stuff. But thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. And I, seriously, I can't emphasize this enough. I say it on every video. Hopefully you have it memorized by now. Take care of each other out there. And I'm gonna see you guys very soon on the next one.